This COVID-19 awareness program is supported by Telecom PNG, always there. And Protex, clean hands, good health. Good afternoon. You're watching COVID-19 Awareness. According to World Health Organization tally update from the last 24 hours, there are 750,890 confirmed cases, a total of 57,610 new cases reported in the last 24 hours globally. Now, the death toll stands at 36,405 with 3,301 new deaths reported in the last 24 hours. To the regional update, the Western Pacific region reported 1,093 new cases, bringing the total number of confirmed cases to 104,868. And 22 new deaths were reported, bringing the death toll to West, for Western Pacific region to 3,671. And in the European region, they reported 31,131 new confirmed cases, bringing the total to 423,000. 946. 2007, 2,733 new deaths were reported, bringing the total death toll to 26,694. And 131 new cases were reported for the Southeast Asian region, bringing the total to 4,215. Now, eight new deaths were reported, bringing the death toll to 166. And in the Eastern Mediterranean region, um, 4,020 new cases were reported, bringing the total to 50,349. And 142 new deaths were reported, bringing the total to 2,954. And the region of the Americas reported 20,935, and that's the new cases, bringing the total to 163,014. And 317 79 new deaths have been reported in the last 24 hours, bringing the total to 2,836. And in the African region, 300 new cases were confirmed, bringing the total to 3,786. 70 new deaths were reported, bringing the death toll to 77. Now, for more information on the statistics, you can always go on to the WHO website. <coughs> yeah, look, Bradley, with the statistics now and... Um, a lot of people have been online. There's been a lot of um, meets being circulated as well. Yes, of course, Dini. One of them is actually um, if mosquitoes are able to transmit the new uh, coronavirus. Now, according to facts, um, today there has been no information, no evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes, Dini. That's actually good news for Papua New Guinea, don't Absolutely. you think? The new coronavirus is a respiratory virus which is spread primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. To protect yourself, of course, the message is clean your hands frequently with an alcohol base, hand rub or wash them with soap and water. And to also avoid close contact with anyone who is coughing or sneezing. All right, and always, always remember to practice um, hygienic practices. Keep your environment clean as well. Stay tuned. We'll go for a break now, and COVID-19 awareness continues after the break. Help stop the spread of germs and protect your loved ones with Protex. Here are some simple hand washing tips. Use soap or liquid hand wash. Vigorously scrub hands in circular motion. Scrub in between fingers and nails. Do not forget the back of the palm and around the wrist. Rinse with clean running water. Dry hands with a clean paper towel or cloth. Protex. Clean hands, good health. A global pandemic has been declared by the World Health Organization. COVID-19 can be 
characterized as a pandemic. Our government, agencies of government, SOEs, business communities and the citizens of PNG are expected to mobilize and stand together to fight this common global enemy, COVID-19. We do this in two ways. Follow the directions and adhere to messages from the government and authorities. Come forward and assist the authorities. We at Telecom chose both. We joined the government to appeal to every citizen to practice good hygiene and to take extra care. And in case of emergencies, please contact our hotline on 1-800-200. Telecom PNG, always there. Welcome back to COVID-19 Awareness. Now, hand washing with soap and water removes germs from the hands. This helps in preventing the spread of COVID-19. People frequently touch their eyes, nose and mouth without even realizing it. Germs can get into the body through the eyes, nose and mouth and make you sick. This short video demonstrates the correct way to wash your hands with soap and water. Wash your hands with water. Wasim han wantem wara. Apply soap. Put him soap. Rub hands palm to palm. Rub him inside blong tublahan blong you one time. Right palm over left hand with interlaced fingers and repeat for the other. Rub him hand and tap long backside long naraplahan. Rub palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Wash him namel blong ol pinga ol sem. Back of fingers to opposing palms with fingers overlocked. Use him one side hand long wash him one plus side hand. Now walk him one kind long narapla. Rotational rubbing of left thumb clasped in right palm and repeat for the right side. Wash him mama pinga all same. Rinse hands with water. Use him water, long wash him soap, long hand. Dry hands thoroughly with a single use towel. Clean him water, long hand. One time, one plug clean pela towel or hap lap lap. Your hands are safe. All hand belong you, he now stop clean. There you go. Please do remember to wash your hands regularly. Yeah. Wash him hand all the time. Want him soap now, Wara. Before I go, MTV would like to thank the following partners, Protex and Telecom, whose support has made this program possible to inform, educate, make aware, prepare, and update Papua New Guineans nationwide on COVID-19. Let's all be collective in this fight together against the coronavirus. Stay safe, practice hygiene, be responsible, be kind, stay home, save lives, and importantly, keep God close. I leave you now with Reverend Pastor Joseph Walters. Fear is something, and once again, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I want to talk a little bit about, about fear, like I did this morning. But if you miss it, fear is a deadly weapon. It cripples you. It uh, switches your frame, uh, your normal frame of thinking. In your normal lifestyle and way of living can be very severely affected because of this thing called fear. I'm thinking of a nation and, and the story that you all know very well from your Sunday school days. The nation of Israel was crippled by fear and terror and intimidation 
by a gigantic of a human being called Goliath. They did not have the means and the resources and the capacity and the capability and the manpower to bring him down. In fact, King Saul and the army of Israel was riddled and overcome with fear until a young man, a shepherd boy, who had just overcome fear by, by killing a lion and a bear with his bare hands, came on the scene. As you know, David, the shepherd boy, slew the giant, Goliath, with a slingshot and a stone and removed the fear from Israel, and Israel was now a free country. So David, who walked with God and talked with God and stayed in the chamber in the secret place, in the place of refuge, and confiding in his God, came on the scene, and the faith that he had destroyed Goliath. Let's believe that if this coronavirus come as a Goliath against us, the God of David, the Spirit in David, together will bring down the giant by the power of God Almighty. In Jesus' name. Amen. A global pandemic has been declared by the World Health Organization. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Our government, agencies of government, SOEs, business...